We're back TCS viewers and you've just seen some footage on the new DJI Phantom 2s that we're carrying. Now keep in mind that between Mark, Jordan and myself you have about an hour and a half of flight experience and I'm not even flying today. Uh, so these are very early impressions on these drones. And uh, I guess what we want to get across today is not just a review of the drones and the system, but also just a, a hands-on first impression of how these things work and uh, the highs and lows. And there's been some cool highs. There have been some literal lows, maybe too low. How waterproof is a GoPro without its... I mean, really, it was a quick dunk. It should be fine. All right, so there's a look at the Phantom 2 unit itself. Obviously very light, very small. You can take it anywhere. That's part of the magic of these devices. But the other thing that makes these very accessible now is how easy they are to fly. Now you've got multiple attitudes that you can set, basically modes on how this thing flies, whether you want to have full manual control or more automatic settings. But the real key to this is the GPS system. With the Phantom 2 connecting to the GPS, you can do pre-planned routes. It also lets you stabilize this thing, and if you do get into trouble and let it go the great thing is it's not like a remote controlled airplane it's not going to keep going or crash into the ground it's going to stop it can even return back to home base so we've got some nice safety features with that gps system when they work now look i don't want to scare you or put you off i mean really these are very easy to get into and start flying with but uh I don't know, you always have to remember in the back of your mind that there are terrible things that could happen, that could go wrong, and that eventually they will. You know, it's kind of like living in California where it's beautiful all the time, you're hanging on the beach with Hollywood stars, but you know that at any moment there could be a giant earthquake and you'll end up in the ocean. And uh, funny enough, this kind of ended up in the water itself. You can see we got the battery out here trying to uh, empty this of the water. Um, yeah, you know, we're flying it up there and it just stopped communicating with the remote control. Nothing was responsive and it decided, okay, well, maybe this is a good time to just self land. It just, that was great, but it, it kind of landed in the river and uh, it'd be great if we had footage of that. But more importantly, we were trying to desperately run towards this thing and catch it. Didn't work. Anyways, you got to remember things can go wrong and they will. All right, so this is your basic controller, just two joysticks. And uh, I mean, let's just show you the basic uh, controls and maneuvers here. First thing you're gonna notice, it's fairly loud. It's like a lawnmower when it gets going. So one control is gonna take you up. And you guys can go forward. You can go down, back, bank to the right, bank to the left. Woo. And you've got your, your yaw. Now, again, the nice thing is, if I just leave it here and let go of the controls, it'll basically stabilize. So very easy to use, very easy to control. Not too bad, even I can do it. Now, if you just want to get out flying, you can buy the Phantom 2s without any cameras attached. But of course, we want some footage for our video, so we've got two choices. The first variant is the Vision Plus, their proprietary camera system with gimbal. This has got a lot of advantages, the biggest one being a constant uplink to your phone. You've got your phone there with the app, you can see battery life, you can see when GPS gets acquired, and of course, you get a POV of the camera. This is really cool too because the delay is very minimal, and so you can fly and see see basically in real time what you're getting with the camera. It does make it a very immersive, very fun experience. Other big pluses, great stills, you even get to shoot raw. The downside, video quality, it's not amazing. It's sort of like old school Hero 2 kind of quality. And you do get a lot of compression artifacts. It can get really shimmery, especially when you're flying over grassy fields and stuff like we have today. Now, one of the things you're gonna really appreciate about the Vision package is that it's ready to go out of the box. But if you're a more serious filmmaker, you're gonna wanna do the GoPro Hero 3 Plus setup. Now, the gimbal does have some assembly required. It's a little bit techy, and there are some issues. The GoPro's not gonna give you a great Wi-Fi link. You're using 
their own app with their own Wi-Fi link, and it does have a pretty heavy delay, but the footage is amazing. Now, if you want to get past that, we can get the Lightbridge package from DJI. It's a separate unit and controller for the gimbal, as well as the uplink. It's expensive, and it does take a lot of setup, and you need a separate controller to operate it. So it's going to get pricey, but it'll give you that more immersive footage. Still, by far, a GoPro Hero 3 Plus on the DJI gives you the nicest cinematic quality. All right, so we had a lot of fun today flying these things. And you know, again, remember, this is more of a field test than a full-on review. We're just having a good time. And they really are that. They're fun, they're easy to use. It's amazing how simple they are to fly and how successful you can be using them. And of course, the other cool thing is if you're thinking about video productions, this adds a ton of production value. You can do sweeping shots, you can do top-down views, you can use it like a dolly, like a crane. So for a relatively low price, you can get a very, very cool device here, have fun and get good footage at the same time. Now, of course, there's this tricky duality when you're using these products, and that is that you're going to have some tragic events. We certainly did. There's a lot to go wrong. You know, maybe the GPS cuts out or a motor fails or your props get damaged. And by the way, you're going to go through a lot of spare propellers. But, you know, don't let that turn you off, guys. It's a lot of fun to do these things. They are fairly easy and simple. The only things we'd like to see change, I mean, battery life, sure, but you can't really improve battery life without adding weight, and so it's counterproductive. You'll get about 20 minutes with a camera on here, and that's pretty good. Other things... You know, the Vision 2, the image quality, we think it could be better if we had a better processor on there. So that might be something to look for in the future. And our only complaint with the GoPro setup is the gimbal is pretty tricky. You always have to unplug cables and it's really hard to get at the GoPro if you want to do things like change memory cards and batteries. Still though, guys, I hope you've seen that there's a lot of potential in a product like this and we've certainly had a lot of fun with it. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll see you guys soon.